Welcome back guys. Today we are doing a bargain buy from KEH box opening. And you might notice that this box is already open. And that's because I made a mistake when I was videoing it the first time. So this is the second take. So I apologize. <laughs> Completely my fault. But what you gonna do? No matter how long you've been doing stuff, you'll still mess up. I got this from KEH. Now, there's a little bit of a backstory behind it. I was talking to my son the other day, my oldest son, and we were talking about megapixels, like iPhone megapixels, like the t iPhone 12 has 12 megapixels. And I said, back in the day, there was a Canon 10D. It was the first of the D-series cameras. And it had 6.3, don't forget that 0.3, megapixels in the camera. I mean, that's what you would shoot a wedding with. Look online. And it was before Father's Day. My Father's Day present was a Canon 10D. We're going to open it up. We're also going to have a iPhone shootout, an iPhone versus the Canon 10D. And see how well six megapixels on a Canon 10D does against, we're probably going to use the iPhone 12 because a bunch of us have it. I don't really know anybody that's got the iPhone 15 right now. I'd like to use it because I think it's got a crazy amount of megapixels. But the iPhone 12 has double what this camera has. So it'll still be a good comparison. We'll have Team iPhone and Team Canon. Team Canon that's like 21 years old, to be clear. But let's open this up. And again, the box is open because this is my second take. I apologize. But it's wrapped up really well. They use a lot of bubble wrap. They wrap it up. I think it would survive almost anything the way they wrap up when you buy from them. Here we go. Here is the camera body. There's the Canon 10D. Now, what's interesting about this camera? The back. That is one tiny little screen. I mean, tiny little screen. And no, it don't flip out. <laughs> but back in the day, this is what you had. You got the job done with it. All the Canon, the 10D all the way to 90D, they have to be, I know they're all crop sensors, so they're not going to be as high quality as your full frame and your new R-series cameras in the Canon. But they were all made very good. I had years, we had a bunch of the different ones, and I don't think we ever had one break, knock on wood. And I get a lot of comments from you guys, and you talk about how well they're made. I got this from my mom, it was passed down. It went through this, this, and this, it still works. It's crazy how they good they built those cameras, everything from the 10D to the 90D. I mean, it's just... A, Tribute to Canon on how well they did on manufacturing those things because I really ran like my 30D and 50D when they came out. We shot a lot of weddings with those. I mean, a lot of weddings, and we never had an issue with any of them. What I said, we're going to get to the Canon 10D because this was the first one in the D series that Canon put out. And again, it had six megapixels. I believe it's like three, three and a half frames per second. So in March of 2003, when Canon put this out, this was a pretty talked about camera. I mean, I know you're looking at it now thinking it only has six meg, 6.3 megapixels back in the day that wasn't bad I, I think it was like three four frames a second you don't get a lot of speed with it either and one thing too that i had kind of forgotten about but it's the old compact flash cards the thick ones not those little wafer cards we use now those little wafer cards scare me i know i've never had a problem really with any of them but they're just so tiny i feel like they're just going to fall apart in my hand. I always like the feel of those compact flash a little bit better but apparently people were shoving them in and bending the the prongs that they went to. I'm not sure why they discontinued them, but I'm sure they had a reason. I probably wouldn't understand it if they told me. I just do the photography and I leave all that to the guys that build stuff, but um, all the engineers. I'm going to do some pictures with this camera. We've got a girl coming in. We're going to be doing a series of how to set up your studio lights for headshots. And it's going to be a series. We're going to start. I'm going to go through everything, starting with setting up the lights, what kind of lights I'm using, how I set them up, and why I set them up that way. So we're, we got that series gonna be coming out in a few weeks, be looking for that series. As far as camera gear, we have a new affiliate and it's KEH. And you know, affiliates, there's a good many of them, but I'll tell you what's special about KEH. I bought my first camera from KEH in about 1983. It was a Canon AE-1. You guys probably remember some of you older guys probably remember that Canon AE-1. The Canon AE-1 program and the Canon A-1 were just fantastic cameras back in the day. And I did, once I got that AE-1, I used it for a while, then I upgraded to the A-1. And they were both fantastic cameras. Technology has changed so much. It's just amazing to look back and see how things have changed. But we're going to test out this 10D on some shots. We're going to do some things with it. We're going to have that competition with the phone, see which one looks best. You guys let me know what you think will do better, which will look better. We're going to shoot the pictures. We're going to straight out of the camera, straight out of the phone. And we'll do, you know, how they look. And then we'll crop in some, see how they look 
cropped in and then we'll do some nighttime shots to see how they both hold up at nighttime. I think it's going to be an interesting test to see what you're going to get because with the phone, they may have a ton of megapixels, but I don't think anybody really knows exactly what size the sensor is on that camera. And this one is a crop sensor from the Canon Crop Sensor. It's 1.6. So if you put a 50 millimeter lens on it, it's going to be the equivalent to an 80 millimeter in full frame. We'll get into all that and I'll be explaining some of that more, but I wanted to show you guys this bargain camera from KEH and the condition it is in. Now this thing came out in 2003, but look at this camera. This was rated as bargain on KEH's website. Even the hot shoe on the top shows very little wear. I mean, just barely to be 20 something years old and not to mention it was $40. So, and it came out when it originally came out in 2003, I think it was $1,999 and now you can get one for 40 bucks. So that's not a bad deal. I mean, you can buy a bunch of these for $40 and you'll be good to go. You know, we added KEH as an affiliate. And KEH is a special place to me. Cause like I said, I bought my first camera for them in 1983. They're just across town from me. I live in Atlanta. Uh, I'm just east of Atlanta and they are just northwest of Atlanta. You know, back in the eighties, their warehouse was in a different location, but I, I went to that one. And then I think they went online for a while. Now they've got a new, um, I'm not sure how new it is, but they have a showroom up in Smyrna, I believe it is. Smyrna and Marietta, they're right there together. If you guys are familiar with the Atlanta area. So I would highly suggest if you're ever coming through Atlanta, take us, Take a stop and check out KEH's showroom. It's really, really neat, the stuff they have in there. I mean, I've been shooting, you guys know I've said it over and over, I've been shooting for over 40 years, but there's always something cool and there's always a little something I've probably never seen in there. I love going in there and looking, because I always shoot Canon and a little bit of Panasonic stuff. I love going in and seeing some of the different stuff that they have that I've never seen before. They had, last time I was up there, or time before last I was up there, they had Olympus, and I forget which one it was, but it was the big one with the battery grip built into the bottom, and it had a cool lens on the front. I got to play with that. I wish I'd have wrote down exactly what that was, because I'd love to take a look at that camera a little closer. I'm getting off the subject of this Canon 10D, and this is what I'm supposed to be talking about, so I'm very sorry. But anyhow, this 10D with its 6.3 megapixels, back in the day, it was the camera. I mean, you wanted this camera. You really did. I mean, it's just, at the time, I know some of you young guys going, 6.3 megapixels, that's not enough to print a four by five. But you'll be surprised how good it looks. You'll, you'll be surprised. And my money is on the Canon 10D with its six megapixels versus the iPhone 12, even though it has double. I just believe the sensor and the quality of the lens I'm gonna put in here, I'm probably gonna use the Canon 24 to 70 28, maybe the Sigma 24 to 105 F4. I haven't decided which one I'm gonna use on it yet, but it'll be one of those lenses. And we're gonna compare the shots, crop them in, look at them at shots from nighttime and just see what we get, see which one looks the best. So you guys let me know which one you think is gonna look the best. Which one will win? Will it be the iPhone 12 with 12 megapixels? Or will it be the Canon 10D from 2003 with 6.3 megapixels? So if you guys have used this camera, let me know down at the bottom what you thought about it. If you're looking for any camera gear, I highly recommend KEH. They're, like I said, they're a new affiliate of ours. We're very happy to have KEH on. Like I said, they're, they're a special place to me because I have been using them since 1983. And then you're dealing with a company for that many years, never had one issue with, well, not one single issue have I ever had with KEH. Top-notch customer service. They're a great company to deal with. I've told you guys, I won't recommend somebody that I wouldn't personally use. And I, I can't give a higher recommendation to any company than KEH. So I've never had a problem with it. Everything has been fantastic since 1983. And that's a lot of years. I don't want to add it up because then I'll feel old. We're going to have some fun with this Canon 10D, see what it does. So anyway, I'm going to shut up. But this camera is in fantastic condition to be from 2003. I mean, you could put it on the shelf and it would almost look brand new. I'm not sure how KEH would, would what would they would find wrong with this camera to put it as a bargain. <laughs> I'm going to get up to their showroom again soon and I'm going to have to ask what they found on this camera to rate it as a bargain. I mean, I know it's old, but I don't think that counts into the rating system. We will find out. I love the fact that they rate in favor of the customer. Because if you bought this, I, I would have bought this somewhere. If they would have said it was excellent, I would have bought it and been happy with it and would have paid a lot more for it. I, I want to get into and find out exactly how KEH rates things because this is not the first bargain item I've ever bought from KEH. So this turns out to be amazing. So anyway, guys, that's it for today. If you're looking for any used equipment, I can't recommend a company any more than I can recommend KEH. Personally, have used them for decades. If you guys have any questions, but let us know who you think is going to win between the iPhone 12 
and the Canon 10D. Anyway, it's going to be fun to do that. If we're helping you guys out, give us a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Have a good day. Hey, guys, I just want to take this second of your time. If you guys would please hit like and subscribe, it would go a long ways toward helping our channel and help us keep making these videos. Thank you.